Good morning, it's Tuesday, April 10th. I'm Aisha Blackshear. Good morning, I'm Millie Delap. The JHS Report is next. Y is presenting a gospel fest in the Jeff High Auditorium on Thursday, April 26. Admission is free, but everyone is asked to bring in a non-perishable canned good for lay ministries. The music will begin at 6.30 p.m. The American Red Cross will be at JHS this Friday, April 13th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please sign up in the Devil's Den during your lunch time to, do to donate. You must be 17 or older to donate. Students 16 years of age cannot sign up without a signed consent from their parents. Those consents can also be picked up at the Devil's Den. Stop by during lunch at the Devil's Den or the health care office, health office before or after school to give the gift of life. The JAF ROTC Annual Cadet versus Faculty Basketball Game will be held Friday, April 27th at 2.45 p.m. in the main gym. The cost is $1 per ticket and tickets will be sold during all lunches. The current standings are Faculty 3 wins, Cadet 0 wins. This year the cadets are determined to win. The Jeff High Junior Senior Prom is coming up this weekend. The event will be held April 14th from 8 p.m. until 12 midnight at the Galt House in Louisville. Students are reminded that you must pay for textbooks if you lose them. Be careful not to leave them in the gym, cafeteria, or your classroom. Final orders for the Barkery fundraiser to help local shelters will be received until next Friday, April 13th. Thanks to everyone who has assisted in our efforts to help displaced and or injured animals from the March 2nd tornado. Today, right after school, Ultimate Frisbee Open Field. This is open to all students who are interested. Contact Mr. Den Dennis for more information. The JHS Report is happy to air your announcement. Have a teacher or staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High Sports after the break. Attention Clark County residents, thank you for voting Moby Dick Seafood your number one choice for seafood in Clark County. We serve high quality cod sliced and breaded daily. Delicious onion rings sliced and breaded daily, never frozen. We are located at 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Open till 9 Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop by and enjoy a whale of a sandwich. Waiter, w waiter, man, the service here sucks. Well, guess what I'm waiting, I give you your JHS weather forecast. Today, sunny, high 61. Tonight, generally clear skies, low of 37. Tomorrow, sunny along with a few afternoon clouds, high 58. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at sports with Curtis Essery. Waiter, please, can I order a... How about I give you sports instead? The Jeff girls tennis team beat Providence last evening to bring their record to 2-1 and one on the year. Winners for Jeff were Morgan Riley, Juliana Jenks, and Larissa Neville in singles. The number two doubles team of Rachel Williams and Kristen Sims also won. Next match is at Madison on Thursday. Junior Varsity Tennis defeated Providence last night. Winners were Shelby Sharp and Shelby Dar in doubles and Abby Roth, Maddie Coulter, and Alana Davy in singles. Jeffersonville pitcher Trent Estelle struck out 14 Providence batters and allowed just one hit in the 3-0 Red Devil victory at Don Poole Field Monday. Estelle faced just 23 Providence batters in seven innings. He walked one. Jeffersonville scored the game's first run in the fourth inning with Estelle on third base and two outs. Hayden Robb drew a walk and immediately got caught in a rundown between first and second base that allowed Estelle to come home. The Red Devils padded their lead when sophomore shortstop Drew Ellis led off the home sixth with a solo home run. Another run scored later in the inning when Marcus Gray stole third and came home on a Providence throwing air. Jeffersonville, now 2-3 and three on the season, plays a doubleheader Saturday at Seymour. Any girl interested in trying out for the Jeffersonville High School volleyball team during the 2012 season is asked to attend an organizational meeting on Tuesday, April 17th. The meeting will be held at Johnson Arena at 7.30 p.m. For more information, contact Jeffersonville volleyball coach Tim Cox. That's a look at sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the newsroom is next. So not getting tipped. Would you like to do something special for a friend on their birthday? You can with the WJHS birthday greeting. It's very simple. Bring six pitchers and five dollars to WJHS room H130 and we'll help you say happy birthday. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Millie Delap. And I'm Aisha Blackshear and thank you for watching the JHS Report.